Hello and welcome back. Where they paint away the stress of everyday life here in Wales, UK. So I'm just going to keep an eye on my my microphone because I'm still having trouble. So today I got a slightly bigger um, piece of cardboard. I'll talk about the cardboard as we go along, but before I do that, a quick introduction and I'll tell you exactly what we're going to be doing today. Hey, welcome. Thanks for stopping by. It's time to learn with our friend Clive. So grab your brush, have a great time. And don't forget so to click the cardboard subscribe. I'm working on is roughly 16 by 16 by 12. Um, that's the rough size. I'll talk about the cardboard as we go along. So I was thinking of just getting some sort of an horizon line put in today. Um, so I'm going to use my, my angle rule. This is what I should use all the time, but I don't. <laughs> so um, it's just a, just a little frame that I made myself. So let's put that up safe up there. Put that up there so we know where it is. So I was thinking of doing today is some sort of a winter scene. I, I, I want a fair bit of sky, but I was thinking of getting something to come in. I, I want a, a, like a, a road or something maybe like a post box or something there this is going to be a christmas card scene so i just want something like that there i don't know i might have a couple of bushes and things i, I want to try to avoid some trees and things I'm, i might put might put some distant trees in or something there uh, i don't know exactly how it's going to work but that's what I've got in my head. <laughs> so let's see. Let's see if we can't turn that really rough sketch into some sort of a painting. So, okay, I'm going to have a bit of fun today. I'm a bit of fun. So, burned umber and white. Burned umber and white. So, I put I put a gesso on, um, as you can see, a little bit of gesso there. Um, this is basically burned umber and white with, with, with some basic gesso. That's it. Basic gesso. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this burnt ember in the sky, just like that. Dum -de -dum -de -dum. I want to make it look. Um, I want to make it look very, like as if it's been snowing or something like that. You've got that dirty, dirty sky. Then I, I call it like a dirty sky. I'm just going to coat that very quickly with some acrylic because acrylic is a plastic paint as you know um, and on top of of top of um, the gesso um, it's just going to allow my other paint to slide a little bit more rather than grab so I'm working pretty quick today I'm going to get some blue because we want to put that blue in the sky and I'm going to mix that in with the, the burned umber and white we're going to get that grey type of sky without using black and white grey. So we just basically burned umber, white, a little bit of blue, just like that. Get that dark type of sky there. A little bit of more blue, a bit more blue, a little bit of white coming down we'll make it look as if it's a sky that's full of snow I'll put some clouds and things in there in a minute but you've got that effect that I'm looking for I'm hoping there's not too much glare on these uh, on these lights I'm gonna just try and turn the lights down a touch well I order this one normally it just falls off the ceiling but there we go just 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 knock the glare away a little bit okay so let's get a little bit of white some blue some white and blue put them with that heavy looking snowy type of effect sky just like that to 
just flicking it in. Now, when you're painting clouds, don't worry about clouds. Just think about the shapes. Don't 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 overthink clouds. Unless you're painting clouds specifically, then obviously you've got to think more about what you're painting. But when you're painting something like this, you're just looking at something in the distance there, and you just want that. Maybe you just want that. shape to come through you're trying to tell a story when you're painting and things like this studies quick paintings that I do help me immensely when I come to painting a long what I call commission paintings type of commission type of paintings the, the bigger the longer time that it takes me to, to do something then I, I draw from this experience that I'm able to sometimes just put in something very quickly and and, 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 and live with that because when we when we paint sometimes we tend to overpaint and overthink but when you paint in paintings very quickly like this what you find is you haven't got time to worry about it you just let it dry <laughs> it's as simple as that it's as simple as that so let's get some more of this burned umber because i want to i want to develop i'm going to put some burned umber burned umber and um ultramarine blue this is burned under ultramarine blue it'll, it'll tend to be a little bit it'll tend to go a little bit gra black it'll tend to go a little bit black on the blue side it does that's what it does that's what it tends to do trust me there we are, just got a bit of shadow, a bit of shadow coming in there like that maybe. Trying to build in something there like that. And I want to bring this around more like this. Because I want this to think, I, I'm going to have a road in there now. I want this road, but we, this road is got to go somewhere it's got to go into the distance it's got to give you that perspective so this is going to pull around a lot more than you think so you need a quite a wide area here in fact I think we need to bring it out a little bit more than that maybe like that I don't know we'll see now in a minute there we are so let's just get a little bit of this burnt number this black uh this burnt number um, and ultramarine blue sorry let's um I can, you can get this quite dark There we go. Nearly black, nearly black. It's very blue, but it's a nearly black. Well, we don't want black. We don't want black. That's something we don't want. So we've got a bit of color in there. Let's just get some blue and some white. And play around with this area. This is all called blocking in. So we just get in a rough idea where things are going to be in this particular painting. Now, the, one of the reasons I decided to, um, if I check my mic, one of the reasons that I've decided to um, paint winter scenes now is because you need to get your Christmas cards ready. And I've, uh, I've been asked a question, well, how, how, do, how do you get that onto a Christmas card? But basically, you, you'll take a photograph of this and you can print that out then and and then you can you can put it into one of these cards you could buy into these um in these craft shops um and you can turn it into a card you can stick them on and you can get framed ones and uh, lovely things actually i'm gonna get a little bit of black now a little bit of black burned ember i'm just gonna put in Maybe a tree or something there. I didn't say I did. I did say I wasn't going to put trees in, but I'm just going to put a tree or something in there like that. There, that. that's just going to hide that that edge there. That's going to hide that edge a little bit, and um, we can put a few different textures in 
there like that. A little bit of colour here and there, a bit of shadow. What I'm doing is painting the under parts of the snow now. So I'm thinking of maybe, um, let me think what we can do with the, the, the. <laughs> we can do with the. <laughs> Let's get some of this. Let's get a little bit of that in the background like that. Maybe some trees and things just like that. Doesn't matter. Don't be too precise for these things. It could be just trees and things. Just just to break that edge off there like that. What are we gonna do now? I'm gonna just change my brush a minute. Um, and I'm gonna get some white and some ultramarine blue. So this is more blue than white. So we're going to need to put some snow in now. Just touch the areas like that. Very lightly. Whispery, whispery, whispery. Bringing in a bit of snow. Just dragging it in. Don't forget that colour underneath. Is going to help give you the effect that we got some snow there. Snow is not always white and crystal white. It's, it's dirty. It's good. There's mud and grass and all these other things. And little foxes have been running around. And you know, um, basically, it's muddy. And it doesn't have to be perfectly white. But we can put some perfectly white snow in. And when we do that, we just give it that essence of fresh late snow drifts we don't overdo the the white it's, a, it's like when you're adding black to a painting don't never overdo the black just very very subtly add in some some white just like that and the further you come to the front the more white you can put in maybe maybe Maybe. There we go. Now I'm going to pull my brush in in this direction now. Just like that. Because that's the pathway or the road, I should say, that's coming in and around maybe this is the road to somebody's home somebody's farm maybe maybe just grab a pencil a little bit of cardboard or a, or a canvas or whatever you want to paint on and, and just try and make something up as I do on the spot because you can learn so much sometimes from that now we need to get a little bit of shadow we need to get a little bit of shadow just under there like that just just push it in just push it in a little bit of a little bit of dark there like that we can have a a line come in let's get a little bit of blue Yeah, 
nice nice line there like that now that could be representing a post fan there we are he's just come down he's just come down that road he's just come down that road to post his post his parcels or his Christmas cards or something into a post box that we're going to be putting in by there in a second there we are so we've got a bit of a road going on there again let's get some of this let's get some of this snowy color putting this in wanted a bit whiter there just push it in there like that bit of blue push it in don't forget this is just the underpainting of the snow so we're starting to develop something now starting to develop something now let's get this brush again now let's get some white a smallest amount of blue smallest amount of blue and white and let's just get some Tippy tappy marks. Maybe it's been snowing. And we got a tree that's laden with snow. Just like that. And you can get some more white. Quite a well, quite a bit on the brush this time. I'm just checking my recorder's working. And just very lightly tap in some heavy laden snow just like that don't worry about those shadows in there you gotta you gotta leave some shadows in there if we don't leave shadows in there the little rabbits and things have got nowhere to live so let's just get a little bit of white yeah like that put some rocks and stuff in there in a second so that's that's looking pretty good that's looking pretty good in fact i tell you what i've got an idea i've got an idea i'm just going to dry that off a second just going to dry that off and um yeah i think i'll be i think i've got an idea i'm hoping that's dry enough i'm hoping that is dry enough so i i thought we'd put a post box because one of the reasons i want to put po post box in that's still a bit wet one of the reasons i want to put a post box in here is because we lost our queen last month and all the post boxes have to be changed now because they they're no longer er they're going to be they're going to be c they're going to be i missed where, 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 where should i write this down there we are so at the moment at the moment the post boxes are like that elizabeth the second regina that's what it stands for and i believe they're now going to be charles the third um rex i think it's charles the third rex and it's elizabeth the second regina i think it's charles the third rex i'm sure that's what it is i'm sure that's what it is <laughs> I might be I might be wrong but I'm sure that's what it is so we got a post box there we got a post box there there we are a little post box and we want to put a bit of color in there that's why I want to put this that's why I want to do that let me um I wonder if I am still very wet so I'm going to dry that I'm going to make sure that's really dry I think Okay, so what I want to do is get a thin type of brush. I'm going to get some of this burnt umber black, some ultramarine blue. There we go. Um, where's my stick? There you go. So I do apologize if my arm is going to be in shot a little bit. 
But what I need to do is put a, a post in there like that, I think. And then I'll put another post there. I'll put another post. And as I'm going along, I'm making these closer together and slightly shorter. Because it's an optical illusion at the end of the day. Oops, I want to put one there. I'm trying to make them a little bit smaller. They disappear along the line there like that. You get the idea. I hope you do. What I'm going to do is try and put a few little. Now you got more time than I have. Please take. Oops. Please take your time. Please take your time. I tend to rush things sometimes and that's not always good. There we are. So that is going to go behind that post box and come out there like that. So let's get this post box painted in. So we've got a black base. There we go. And then I'm going to have to get some red on my palette because <laughs> I didn't put any red. I'm going to use a little bit of cadmium red. I didn't put any red on my palette because I hadn't planned on making a, a post box. There we go. This time, sometimes it's fun just to make things up on the spot. There we go. And this red will make it pop. It's a splash of colour in such a, a brilliant white, murky looking painting. There we go. Lock it in. We'll worry about the detail in a second. There we are. Let's just put a, a red top on. Got to put his hat on. Stops the snow going everywhere. There we are. We'll, that, that'll do for now. So we got a, we got that in place. Let's using the same brush. You know, I better wash the brush. I'm going to get a bit of snow now. Pure, pure white, pure white. Because I want to put, I want to put some snow. On the top of this rail. Like that. I don't want to cover it all. There you go. Just 
just so you can see maybe the snow has been falling and sticking to that there. Let's get our, our snow now. Let's get some blue. We need to put some shadows in now. Put some shadows in. So we can carry the so we can carry the snow with this. Okay, um, I'm going to get some burnt umber. some bushes and things and maybe a little bits of grass who knows what they are I don't know <laughs> I think it's coming all right. I think it's coming lovely. Um, okay, let's put a. I'm gonna put a bit of a rock by here. I think I'm gonna. Put, I'm gonna put some rocks in. Maybe. There, like that. Who knows what snow? Who knows what's under the snow? I don't know what's under the snow. I don't know what's under that snow. Okay, that's looking pretty nice. I quite like that so far. I quite like that. Let's just get some more snow down. Do, 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 do. Trying to get this line right. So what we could do, if you if you're struggling a little bit there, like I'm I'm trying to get this right. So I thought, well, wh why not just put a bush or something in there? You could you could hide a multitude of sins by bushes. You could hide a multitude of sin with bushes. So let's just some snow in. So you wanna you wanna layer this on fairly thickly like this in between oh Molly's bark in there da 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 Of that slushy line going up. There. 
It's more snow. It it does the the detail with 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 these type of snow scenes is you don't have to be that accurate really. You don't you don't have to worry too much about. You don't have to worry too much about it. I want to get that a little bit darker there. I want to make it look really sludgy. We've seen snow when it goes sludgy. It's horrible. It really is. It really is. It's really horrible. And I'm just going to place in some horizontal lines just across like this. A bit of blue. I'm going to put that. I'm going to put a tree or something in there now. I just want to make this look like a, a farm track or something. There you go. Right, we need a bit, in order to show so snow, we have to put some shadows in. So let's get some more blue. Got a bit of a track going on there, I think. I think that's quite nice. I might put a bush in there actually. I'm gonna I'm gonna have to dry this really, really well now. So this is gonna take me a good five to ten minutes. So I'm just gonna turn the camera off while I do that. I really, really hope that's dry enough. Um okay, so I'm gonna get a, a little bit of filberty brush. Again, I'm gonna get a little bit of burnt umber, a bit of blue, small amount of black. I'm gonna put a A nice bush or something, maybe a tree even, maybe a tree, maybe, or a group of trees just there. Just to take that edge off, there we go. See, sometimes you need to, just need to play a little bit, Let's get some blue, some white. Well, let's just put some there we go a little bit of that color There we go. I get some white. Not too much. Don't overdo that. We just need to show that there's maybe some foliage and stuff. There you go. Get the snow. Let's get some more of that.
little things just sticking their little heads up. You've still got that track there. Just a few little things just maybe just sticking their heads up. Out of the snow. Who knows what? I don't know. I'm just making this up as I go along. some snow in there we don't know where the road starts where it ends because the snow has been falling so we don't know where the beginning of that road is or even where the end of that road is <laughs> but it's there it certainly is okay um that's pretty good so far i quite like the way it's looking cold let's put a few very light flecks of snow in there like that maybe it was a the post van's just come down the road he's put some picked up his mail and he's taken it to the farm maybe a little girl walking down and she sent her a letter to father christmas to tell him what she wants this year that's uh that's what i like to think that's what i like to think so i'm just gonna paint this in a little bit redder there we go I'm not going to do the lid as such. There we go. Get some black on my brush. Get some black on my brush. And I'm just going to put the the little slot and the mail goes in there like that. And there's always a little plaque and you can just about see ER there, like that, which is Elizabeth Regina, as I said. And what we gotta do now is get some snow on our brush. Because this is not this is not this is not pink by the way, this is real snow. I'll put some snow just on the base there because there's always a little bit of a lip just like that and there's been some major snowfall so just put some snow on the lid of the post box just see a little glint of red just coming through that because it's picking up the color of what is landed on there we are maybe 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 let's get a little bit of gray because there's always a a little sign there a little thing there saying when the mail is going to be picked up and and stuff so we need to put that in place. There we are. There we are. So there's there's the there's the post box. There's the post box. Um, let's put a little bit more. Definition into that. There's the post box. Now this area there, if you wanted to darken that, what you could do as 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 long as I've got as long as that's dry, as long as that's dry. You could put a little bit of shadow in, 
in there. Um, I don't know if it's dry enough. Let's try. I'm going to get a little bit of blue and white. And I'm just going to brush. No, it's not quite dry enough. I'm just going to brush a little bit of shadow in there. Let's get some snow. I want to put some more highlights in. I'm just going to use a small brush, I think. Yeah. Maybe put some more snow on there as well. Put it in nice and thick. Texture is wonderful. If you can get some texture in acrylic paint, it is wonderful. People love texture. I've got a friend that is blind. And um, I've painted a number of paintings for him. And, and very thick, very thick impasto type of paintings. And um, he, he feels them. And he can get an idea of what I've painted, which is an amazing, really. So I've got a toothbrush. I've got a toothbrush. And what I'm going to do now is just put some snow in. We just can't have a Christmas card without snow. And what that does, it just takes that edge off that really dark sky and it just says, look, it's snowing, it's cold. Brr, really is proper winter scape paint in there for you today so i hope you've enjoyed that and i uh, certainly enjoyed uh painting it with you today and um thank you very much don't forget to like comment share and subscribe don't forget to click the notification bell and um the more likes i get the more thumbs up i get it just indicates to other people that you've enjoyed watching it and, and they might want to as well but there we are there's a simple simple little um snowy Christmas cardy type of thing. You can make the post box a bit bigger. You can put some robins in there. It's just an idea of something for you to play with. So I hope I've helped. I'll see you next time. Thank you very much for joining me. Bye.